Lattice top pies always wow people, though putting them together can require some fancy footwork. Usually, you have to assemble the lattice crust directly on the filling that's already in the pie shell. This means that the clock is ticking and you have a window of time when the dough is pliable but not too soft. And it's tricky to manipulate the lattice strips without getting filling on them. In this video, I'll show you how to widen that window by making a prefab lattice on parchment that you then flip onto the filled pie. I've already rolled out my bottom crust and fitted it into my pie plate. It's in the fridge chilling while I make the prefab lattice top. I've rolled the second piece of dough into a rectangle and I'm going to trim it so it is exactly 14 by 9. As you can see, I'm using my trusty ruler. Do the same thing on the other side. Peel away the excess. Now I'm going to cut my rectangle into 12 strips, 3 quarters of an inch wide. Marking the dough so I make sure that the strips are even. If you don't do even strips, you'll have kind of a haphazard looking top once it's finished and baked. Now I'm just going to mark the other side so we can get a clean slice across the pastry. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to cut. Line my ruler up, pastry wheel, and whiz it across. If you want to just use your paring knife or even a pizza wheel, that's fine too. As you can see, I'm sliding the ruler down after each swipe to do the next strip. To make the prefab crust, I like to use a large piece of parchment, about this size. So it's as easy as transferring our strips and positioning six of them about three quarters of an inch apart. You want to try and line them up as much as possible, but we're really just getting them into position now. Later on, we'll fuss with them and make sure that it's just the right spacing. Also, one of the nice things about doing this on parchment paper, you can just slide a cookie sheet under this, cover it with some plastic, and throw it into the fridge until you have time. Okay, now we're just gonna scooch these up together so they're just approximately three quarters of an inch apart. Now we're going to peel back alternating strips, and slide in your first cross piece, Set this first strip slightly off center. And put those pieces back together and pull back the opposite alternating strips. In goes another one. And we're going to position this strip again about three quarters of an inch apart and our strips go back over. As you can see, the dough is really pliable, really easy to work with. And now, one last one on this side. And I'm going to use this one that's a little bit thinner, a little bit more ragged, because it is the edge. We'll make up the edge of our crust, top crust, so we won't see it as much. OK, now we're going to go to the other side. And we're going to lay in another one of our better pieces so that the lattice topping has its best face forward. OK, now we have some time to monkey around with the pieces. Make sure we like our positioning. As you can see, I can still move the dough. No need to be perfect, but it is nice, since you have the time, to adjust accordingly. OK, and now to make the prefab crust really easy to work with, I'm going to take small dabs of water, just using my fingertip, and pop it underneath the dough and press it lightly onto the other piece. It's just a teeny bit of water, but that will seal it and set it so that when we go to transfer our crust, it won't move. It's not essential that you get all of the strips moistened, but it is important to get the outside edges and as many of the interior ones as possible. Better safe than sorry. OK, let's top this pie with the lattice. Got our lattice out of the fridge right here. I'm gonna take the plastic wrap off, and then I'm going to slide my hand underneath, positioning the palm of my hand right in the center of the lattice. You want to imagine when you're lifting this up that you are actually going to put your palm right onto the center of the fruit filling. So now comes the leap of faith. 
Trust me, it will work. Ready? One, two, three. And then you delicately peel that off. Like with other double crust pies, we're going to trim off to about a half an inch of dough from the edge. There we go. And now we're going to roll the lattice and the bottom crust together and let it sit right on the top of the rim. You can press the lattice to the bottom crust as you're rolling. Okay, we're just going to do a simple crimp. Index finger and thumb and the opposite index finger. Gently push the two together. Remember, it's important to keep the crimping on top of the edge. And there you have it. A beautiful, professional looking lattice crust with no messy juices on top. Looks like it came right out of a pastry shop in Paris.